We consider your presence at this ceremony an honor and a demonstration of your support for the cause of our organization. Our moving into this new office complex at this auspicious moment when the bill for an act to establish Nigerian Peace Corps has been passed by the National Assembly are presently awaiting presidential assent is instructive and significant in many ways. The envisaged flurry of activities once this bill is signed into law will definitely demand more and better equipped office accommodation for key departments, divisions, units and corporate and appropriate complements of personnel necessary to cope with the volume of work and attendant pleasure. Again, it addresses our present acute accommodation problem at the former headquarters, both for offices and ceremonial purposes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this new office complex provides us with more convenient working environment and invoke an ambience suitable for uniform organization like ours. We have equipped our offices with the state-of-the-art facilities and equipment that will enable us to discharge our responsibilities more conveniently and creditably. I am convinced that good office environment is a necessary condition to motivate staff of any organization for better and more efficient service delivery. Consequently, we are committed to continually improving the working conditions in our offices as well as provision of essential tools and equipment to facilitate effective and efficient delivery on our mandate. In this regard, I acknowledge the present accommodation challenges being faced by our officers and men in some states of the Federation. The top management of the Peace Corps of Nigeria is working in concert with trustees and other stakeholders to alleviate the problem and secure befitting offices for the Corps in all our formations across the country. Let me seize this opportunity offered by this occasion to commend our officers and men for generally living up to expectations in the discharge of their responsibilities. Much as we have achieved commendable standards, I make haste to remind you that there is room for more improvement. Respected guests, gentlemen of the press, I consider it very important, feminine to bring to your knowledge that PCN is committed to the promotion of positive values, ethics, ideals of nation building. Our core mandate is to develop, empower, and provide gainful employment for the youth, to facilitate peace, volunteerism, community services, neighborhood watch, and other related matters. We carry out youth-based programs for character development, attitudinal change, and strict discipline through reorientation, social engagement, and empowerment of Nigerian youth. On the heels of the above, I call on Nigerian youth to shun all forms of antisocial behavior, cultivate the culture of peace and discipline, which are the bedrock of all successful and progressive societies all over the world. Finally, our esteemed guests, gentlemen of the press, I humbly invite you to share with the officers and men of our organization the joy of the moment. As I invite the representative of the Honorable Minister of Youth Development, of Youth and Sport Development, Barista Solomon Serka Dalong, to present his address and to subsequently declare in his capacity as a special guest of honor for this occasion, our new corporate headquarters complex open. Thank you for your attention and God bless us all.
All right, we can give it up. We can do it better for the National Commandant of the Peace Corps of Nigeria. Thank you. Good afternoon, all. Uh, I apologize on behalf of the Honorable Commissioner, Federal Minister of Youth and Sports, for his inability to be present here due to other official engagement. Dr. Mariam Abdullahi, representing the Honorable Minister, I present his goodwill message. On the occasion of the opening ceremony of the National Secretary Headquarters, of the Peace Corps of Nigeria, Tuesday, today, 28th, February, 2017. All protocols observed. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this official cere opening ceremony of the National Secretarial Headquarters of the Peace Corps of Nigeria. I am particularly fulfilled that this edifice is being commissioned during my tenure as it is a testimony of the serious commitment of this administration to champion the socio-economic empowerment of the Nigerian youth. It is therefore heartwarming that the Peace Corps of Nigeria has, from inception, maintained a strong platform for mutual collaborations with the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports. Kindly permit me to appreciate the Peace Corps National Commandant for its unrelenting zeal, doggedness, and creativity, which has resulted in the moderate achievement of the Corps to date. I particularly congratulate you for the recent smooth passage of the Peace Corps of Nigerian Bill by the National Assembly. And I have no doubt that this shall reinvent your wholehearted commitment towards imparting high sense of reorientation and grassroots sensitization and mobilization of our youth. This address will not be complete without mention of some key international achievements of the COPS. Worthy of note is the recent conferment of special consultation status by the African Union and the United Nations Economic and Social Council on the Peace Corps of Nigeria. These are groundbreaking achievements, and undoubtedly, they have provided us with new theater of opportunities in positive engagement of our youth, as well as providing a window for addressing the challenges of youth restiveness. Finally, on behalf of the management and staff of the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, we heartily fel felicitate with you on this auspicious occasion and pray that the edifice shall be of immense benefit to the Peace Corps of Nigeria and the entire Nigerian youth in general. Thank you and God bless. Once again, a big thank you to uh, the representative of the Honorable Minister for Sports and Youth Development. I'd like to state here this afternoon that um, Dr. Ifere Pichens, ACG, a Strategic Research and Planning, is presenting the Comptroller General of Customs, Cornell Amid Retire. Please put your hands together for her once again. For this course that has brought us here today, Okay, I'd like to recognize the presence of Dr. Rafael Oga Oko, Secretary General, Universal Peace Federation of Nigeria. Thank you, Honorable Dan Ladi Mana, Honorable Commissioner for Honorable Commissioner, Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Plateau State. Recognize your presence. You're welcome, Comrade Mrs. Mary Balong, National Women Leader, APC. Comrade Forum. Thank you very much. Honorable Jerry Alagbaso, Member Committee on Interior, Chairman Committee on, on FEMA, 